Hello Cancer, welcome back to Cuban Empress 1111. I am back to do your reading for the ending of May. Um, please guys, like, share, and subscribe my videos. That will be the only way that I will um, be able to continue uh, you know, giving you these wonderful messages from Spirit. And also, it is the one way that others will be able to tap into the messages that I am sharing here today. Um, obviously, as you very well know, it's not going to resonate with everybody. But for those that it does resonate, then um, you will have your wonderful messages here delivered. If not, you can also go look at your other signs as well, depending on where your signs fall within your natal chart. Okay, um, so let's, let's get started. So the first card that we got was love and I will proceed to read what spirit wants you to know regarding that message or that oracle so it says is there any other word in our language that has so many meanings been so overused and misused we long for it and agonize over its absence but what does love really mean? To some people, love is about fidelity or loyalty. To some, it's about getting married. To some, it's about sharing. And to others, it's about obligation and what you owe to the people who love you. We use the word and conjure up the idea frequently, yet we see shallow expressions of love everywhere around us in media and entertainment you have drawn this card today because your angels and guides would like you to think about what love really is for you it is very important for you to make time to contemplate love and how you can create more of it in your life close your eyes and get into the feeling of love the pure raw energy of this creative force this may seem a little abstract at first but as you allow yourself to feel its presence and merge with its vibration, you will begin to realize something amazing. Love is not confined to human relationships or interactions between living, living beings. It is the fundamental force that animates and guides the entire universe. Love is in the air we breathe, the water we drink, the earth we walk upon. Love is quite literally all around and with, within you. If you would like to abstract a loving relationship or improve your existing partnership, you can make a beautiful beginning by going to the source of love first. You need never to short of love. Tapping into the endless flows of love that infuses every atom Adam, sorry, <laughs> within the within and around you will provide nourishment for your soul and inspiration for your life. When you make time to contemplate love and feel the kind of love you desire and connect with universe universal love, you will be guided every step of the way by the greatest force ever created. So that's your first oracle. The second oracle was Shivery. And it's who or what is Severus. Severus. I have a hard time saying that word, guys. Please forgive me. It's a bit of a hard word to say. <laughs> Man, and how does it behave? A Severus male will face up to the many challenges that life presents and protect the people he loves and whatever he truly believes in. One a less heroic I'm sorry on the less heroic more everyday note he is both a protector and a provider that applies himself to these roles at the level of family friendship intimate relationship and community the chef chevarious man <laughs> has a deep respect for the feminine and powerful understanding that he himself is nurtured by supporting the feminine and helping her to thrive he recognizes that actions like opening a door for a woman or offering a lady a seat can add a flourishing or charm 
a st- and style to the way he lives his life and his and his derives joy from them and he derives joy from them moreover he takes pride in the fact that he can be gallant without losing his sense of self or feeling demeaned appreciating and enjoying the inherent differences between the masculine and feminine helps the chivalrous male to enjoy this way of being and to be uplifted by the company of the luminous woman by drawing this card today you are calling the energy of chivalry into your life if you are a man you are encouraged to consider ways in which being chivalrous can enhance your life and to find more ways to demonstrate it be sorry but beware chivalry is not just about going through the motions it's about understanding the subtle interplay of masculine and feminine energies and tapping into the sublime source of nurture warmth support and love that is available from the secure and supported feminine if you are a woman this card is asking you to look at ways you could allow more chivalry into life and encouraging you to look for the chivalrous qualities in the man around you when a man does something chivalrous gallant or polite for you thank him and let him know that you notice his chivalrous qualities <laughs> a compliment such as this will securely motivate or sorry security will surely <laughs> motivate him to behave this way again in the future okay so perhaps maybe we need to thank you need to thank your man for the things that he does perhaps maybe you lack in that um perhaps if you're a guy then perhaps you lack in being a little bit more attentive to your woman and being that generous you know very charming man that perhaps i believe we lack nowadays to be quite honest um we live in a world where people just completely have forgotten about any of that so anyway let's tap into your reading okay so cancer uh the first card that i got is the 10 of wands this card is you've had a lot you've been carrying a lot perhaps maybe about a commitment a marriage with the hierophant here the three of pentacles trying to work into this marriage perhaps maybe you've been you've been it's been a long term thing where you've been carrying a lot and dealing with a lot in this relationship again we got the 10 of wands repeated energy so it could be mirrored energy too it could be you and your partner um so perhaps maybe something of that is going on a two of swords is definitely uh libra vibes uh this is a libra card in the suit of swords a decision that perhaps maybe you're in crossroads a decision that needs to be made about a relationship that is no longer working we have the two of cups upside down reverse this is definitely so mate but not not working out for some reason um we definitely have the seven of swords so there was a betrayal here um backwards perhaps could be that has already happened has already occurred a betrayal that that has already happened but, you know uh, i believe this is past energy perhaps with an emperor this can either be uh aries very big uh a very big uh, arcana for aries and the tarot but it can also be a fire sign it doesn't have to be an emperor it can also be a father it could be uh somebody that works for himself a ceo uh could be a supervisor manager anybody that carries those type of traits this is a leader okay definite leader we have the five of pentacles somebody being out in the cold maybe fear of lack of income perhaps maybe in a decision that needs to be made thinking on you know perhaps maybe leaving the relationship um waiting for your ships to come in maybe perhaps waiting for the moment to be able to make that step perhaps your hermiting this is definitely virgo energy virgo major arcana 
and maybe you're dealing with a Virgo or you're dealing with a fire sign. Could have, they can have it in their chart as well. It doesn't necessarily have to be the, the actual sun sign. It can actually be moon rising or Venus. So definitely perhaps maybe you're in this mode where you're contemplating what to do, how to move forward. Um, lack of truth, Ace of Swords reversed. The lack of clarity, lack of truth in this in, in this marriage or in this relationship. And definitely single vibes, you know, Nine of Pentacles. This is somebody that's single, abundant. It's okay financially. So perhaps maybe you're planning on walking away to be in this energy. Thinking of leaving somebody out on the cold, ending something. But that Ten of Wands definitely gives me that vibe for sure. Um, and then we have the Five of Cups. This is crying over spilled milk. Over something that didn't work out. Regrets. Bit of depression. You know, kind of in the down mode. Um, over a cycle that's going to be ending. The World card is endings, but also could be new beginnings as well. So you're completing a cycle with someone. I don't know, perhaps maybe there's about 10 years in the marriage 20 years something to that effect three of swords hurt and pain heartbreak can also signify third party but the seven of swords is definitely cheating lying here that occurred that happened um the star long-term relationship invested for a very long time this can also mean healing from whatever happened you know, here, a page of cups, you have a thought of maybe wanting to come or thinking of wanting of someone or maybe a love or of something you're wanting to offer love to someone, come in with a message of love for somebody. Pages are messengers. So somebody that's embodying the queen of pentacles, this can be, uh, again, earth energy. Earth energy. That's uh, Virgo, Capricorn, or Taurus. Um, could be you're moving towards a Queen of Pentacles. Um, again, Two of Swords again. Decision. Trying to figure out. You're in crossroads. Trying to figure out what to do. And you are at a distance from this person. So whoever you're thinking about, you are at a distance from this person. Taking a rest from the situation. Four of Pentacles is a card of not wanting to let go. Not wanting to let go of a Queen of Wands. You're in the Knight of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. Queen of Wands. You know, I, I, this could be two stories here. Um, definitely a marriage that has suffered kind of your thing hasn't reached its ending but it's going to come for a sort for full circle and so i do see here some people wanting to offer a cup to a queen of pentacles and i also see a not wanting of to let go of a queen of wands so definitely up at night stressed out you're wanting your ten of pentacles with that person. This is completeness, family. Literally somebody that, you know, family legacy. You're wanting to create marriage and a family with this particular person. Um, so this could be two different scenarios going on here. Okay, my Cancerians. So seven of pentacles is... Seeds planted. Wanting to grow something with someone. You're standing up for what you believe in and moving towards that. Having options. Definitely manifesting. This could also be that you have options. That aside from that one relationship that is not working out. Or that you're thinking on having closing a full circle. You have two other options cancer seriously oh my okay 
<laughs> okay, guys. So it's either two different scenarios because I'm reading too many different cancers here. And this could be just two different different situations that are going on for some of you. Or you're ending it with somebody and there's two other people here that you get your eye on. There is going to be communication with the Eight of Wands regarding truth. The Ace of Wands. Well, this is truth and also passion in the beginning. Ace of Wands. The Ace of Swords is actual truth. But this is when somebody's coming in to confess something or to give you truth on something. But this is passion in the beginnings. So you are going towards a passion in the beginning. You're going towards calmer waters with the Six of Swords here. And you're going towards the sun. You're going towards light. So again, like I said, definitely walking away, closing a cycle with a, with a, with a marriage. I see here a marriage or a long-term commitment. And you're either moving to two different people. You're in between two different people with the crossroads here trying to figure out, you know, with the two of swords here trying to figure out what you're going to do between those two people. Or this is two different scenarios. This is somebody walking away from a relationship who's going towards offering or wanting to offer love to a queen of pentacles. And then somebody who's going towards a queen of wands. One or the other. You know your lives more than I do. You know more what's going on. You know your message is here that we got from the heart oracles. It's acceptance is the key to inner space. At times, we must accept things as they are. There is no point trying to change that which is beyond our control. This is definitely for the situation that's going on with whoever you're walking away from. Wait. Don't rush into it. Allow nature to take its course. So they're telling you to wait. Have patience. Don't make any ru any rush decisions as far as who you're going towards. Take your time. Balance yourself. Love is not always about agreeing just for the sake of it. A re great relationship is one that both supports and challenges. It's one that both supports and challenges, yeah. So, these are your messages, Cancer. Um, I hope it has done good. Again, it's not going to resonate for everybody. So, please share my messages. So, whoever this does resonate to, it gets to. The message gets to. And best way to do that is sharing it on, on social media, guys. Um, if you're watching me through Facebook, please share my video on Facebook as well, okay? All of my information for private readings are down below and also they are in Facebook as well, okay? So, love you, my Cancers, and I will see you next time. Bye!